This is an educational video to demonstrate how to apply a universal fit orthosis, otherwise known as a UFO splint. This video must only be used under guidance from a physiotherapist and you must check the skin for marking before applying the splint. If you notice any red areas or an increase in swelling, please consult your physiotherapist before applying. A UFO splint is sometimes used for patients after having a stroke to maintain range of movement at the ankle, to also prevent the muscles at the back of the leg here from becoming tight, and also to prevent any pressure sores from occurring, as this can sometimes happen when a patient is lying in bed for long periods of time. To apply the splint, you might need a second pair of hands to help move the leg and position it accurately, but if your patient can assist with this, then one person will do. Before applying the splint, make sure that the leg is in a bent position, as this will allow you to get the heel into good contact with the splint, and also make sure that all of the straps are undone, especially these side straps, as that will become important later on. Place the foot into the splint, making sure that the heel is making good contact with the splint. Hold firmly, and at this point, a strap can then be secured over the top of the foot to hold it in place. There is Velcro over the top of each strap. This will allow you to tighten the straps if needed to hold the foot even more securely. There is a second strap further down to also hold the foot in place and this can be secured in the same way. The strap at the top of the splint does not need to be secured tightly and can just be clipped into place and will just stop the leg from moving excessively within the splint. Once you've achieved a good position of the ankle in the splint, the leg can then be straightened okay, and the straps at the side can now be tightened, making sure that the heel is in good contact at all times. It is best to tighten the straps both at the same time as this will enable you to get the same tension on each side. Tighten the straps and secure with the Velcro. This provides a little bit of a stretch at the back of the leg. This is the optimal position for a UFO splint. You must check for marking and normally we tend to say leave the splint on for an hour first and four hours off and this time can be built up by your physiotherapist as required and as is safe for the patient. If you noticed any red areas or any marks that the splint may have caused, please stop using the splint and consult your physiotherapist.